Hello everybody, it's Jim the Gentleman Crafter and today we're build, building a um, stamp holder for any of the stamps that would fit. Stampers Anonymous stamps, Diane stamps, Tim stamps, Dina stamps, Brett Wild stamps, um, Stampers Anonymous stamps. They all fit and it would hold about 40 and this is what it looks like. And I've stenciled on the front with uh, uh, Diane Reesley's uh, white linen paint and uh, a black um, food ball and a white um, uniball. And then I've uh, decorated the side with um, some mixed media paper that I stamped and then doodled around it. Okay, and it's done out of black chipboard. Um, so we're going to build it. Okay, and I said, I think it's, I said in my directions today on my blog that it was 10 pages. You can actually do it in seven pages if you want to put the dividers in, I'm sorry, seven sheets of chipboard makes the box. If you want to do the dividers, it's going to take more chipboard. <coughs> And I think I said 10, so you have a bit more. So I'm going to actually start totally from scratch. I'm going to move my keyboard out of the way. I'm going to put you down to the, the work surface. I'm going to raise this back up a little bit. Oh, you want to say hello to Caesar? Before I get going. Oh, wait, wrong way. Caesar, can you come say hello real quick? We'll, let you, we'll get talk to Caesar real quick. Then we'll get going. Caesar hour. Then we'll get going. <sighs> Hello, everybody. Oh, let me fix that. Go ahead. It's all okay <coughs> tonight. I hate that. Look, do you see that like halo right there? Mm-hmm. Crazy. They were asking about Diane. How's Diane doing? Oh, she's doing good. Doing good. Very good. Enjoy the movie. No, oh, Mitzi. Barb, Chiller, Angela, Caesar. I can't wait to see you all. I know it's gonna be fun. Hey, Peanut. Hey, Kimmy. Uh, um, something extremely easy, cause I am just not in the mood. It is, um, I don't know, I just feel a little under the weather today. The back of my throat is dry, or, uh, I guess dry or raw. So I'm, I hope I'm not coming down with anything. If I am, I hope it's now. So I don't have to take it. Hey, Sandra. So, we'll see. Um, let me see. Did you get your Homeland Security papers? Oh, God, no. <laughs> I should have. But I didn't. Uh, hello, it seems to be disappear when the camera is pointed down. Um, let me see, what else? So I'm, I'm actually doing, um, are y'all going to be at the G-A-S-C in Dallas in June? I have no idea what that is. <laughs> um, I think there's a small spot of gravitation inside the lens. Very possible. What is it? Hmm? Are we going to the G A S C in Dallas in June? Who's I don't know that? What that no, I don't think so. Great American Scrapbook Convention? Sure. Maybe. I'm going. Uh, there. So I think we'll be. Deep. We'll be. We have two classes. Um, I so. We have uh, to teach two classes. And, uh, or actually, we get back. Is it June or July? I think it is moles. You know, I, I sure hope so, but I just did not feel well this morning until, not even when I got home, I had to take a nap. It's just, just, just raw. My nose is raw. raw. Just raw. Raw. I had a headache. Uh, I'm here working in Zyron uh, Booth. Cool. Oh, anyway, we're having um, Zanare. That's it. With chips. <laughs> Easy. <laughs> recording? Uh, yes, he is recording. Yep. Okay. Okay. Bye, everybody. All righty. Y'all ready to get started? Get crack -lacking. Get your gears on, because I ain't writing this down. I ain't. Okay, so, bottom. The base is going to be... Oh, sorry. Okay, so the base is going to be seven and three quarters. Why is there such white here? Okay, there we go. Seven and three quarters. And like I said, I like to double up on my chipboard. So seven and three quarters. <laughs> By 12. We're going to leave that alone. 
seven and three quarters by twelve. Okay. And then we, that's the base. And then we want to make um, the back and front. And the back is going to be seven by five. So seven inches by five inches. What you looking for, Ben? I think it's over there. Okay. Right about where that uh, car thing is. What am I doing? Five. Hi, Guadalupe. So that's the back. And then the, I'm sorry, this is going to be the front. And then the back is going to be seven by seven and a half. So I'm going to do seven and a half by seven. And then seven and a half by seven again. So that's going to be my front, my back, my base, and now I'm going to do my sides. And the only thing that's kind of catchy on this is that I'm going to measure down five inches on each side. So I'm going to try to make this, I want this to be on my side. So I'm going to measure down here five inches with my Tim Ruler. Five inches is right there on this side. I'm marking it five. I'm coming up on this opposite side and I'm marking down five. Okay. So I'm going to do that again. So I'm going to have double side. I'm going to make sure I've got my strong side. Here we go. So I'm coming down five and marking. I'm coming up from this side and marking down five. So five on each side. Okay, that's done. So I'm gonna go back to this one because the the paint, the paint's probably dried by now. <clears throat> I'm going to line this up. You can cut this with your exacto knife with a ruler or a steel ruler. And cut that, that angle. Okay. I'm going to do the exact same thing. So I'm lining up um, white point to white point and I'm cutting on the angle. So you do that with a steel ruler and a, and a craft knife if you've got it. Okay. It's black. Paper accents chipboard, and you can get it in my shop if you want it. I'd be glad to sell you some. Okay, I think that's my pieces, y'all. So I'm gonna move this out of the way. I'm gonna get my Xyron. And I'm going to grab these two pieces, two of everything. And when I loaded it a while ago, I messed it up because I put um, I put it in wrong. See what I'm saying? I got it all sticky. And then I'm going to do the sides in the back. I'm just doubling up the chip, making it a thicker, because we're going to really uh, reinforce this whole box, because it's going to hold a lot of weight. Gotta buy a new one. Just 
killing me. <clears throat> okay, so I'm going to go back over. I'm going to brayer the back so it gets really kind of onto the glue. The adhesive. And I am grabbing a Teflon bone folder just about the best thing you can ever use on uh, this film. Just going around it. Peeling off the stuff. take my matching piece and put it together. Okay, and I'm going to take my brayer again and go over it, which is going to make it really strong. Okay, repeat for the same thing. I missed my other brayer. It's so good. I'll look up and see if y'all have any questions so far. Okay. Okay. What's going on? Let's see. I'm guessing you'll need to watch the recording. Yes. I need to watch the recording. Because y'all, I am honestly stretched so thin right now. And I can't, I don't have time to write it all down. So let's, we can go over the measurements again. So the base, the base is going to be seven and three quarters by 12. Okay. The back is going to be seven and a half by seven. It's the back part. The front part is seven by five. Okay. The sides are 12 inch sheet. You're marking it down from the top five inches, up from this side five inches. Okay. Then you cut on those two marks with a ruler. Just take your ruler, take a craft knife, go down it and cut it. Got it? <clears throat> yes. At the highest point, Stacy, V is seven at, at the highest point and five at the lowest. So it's really easy. I tried to do that. I wanted to make it higher on the back, but this is easier. You know what I mean? So I can just go up five inches and five inches. So if I come down five inches and mark with your white pen or something, pencil, and then come up from the bottom five inches and mark, and then take your steel ruler and a craft knife and cut on that line. You might even draw a line and then cut on that line. You know what I mean? And that's the sides. And so you need four of those. Is that good? Does that kind of help? So everything is made from a 12 by 12 sheet of uh, heavy uh, black chipboard. And black, if you're going to use craft paint, you, I mean, if you don't have black, you can craft paint it. Just don't use um, gloss. You know what I mean? Try to stay with um, you got it good. Okay. Uh, so just kind of try to stay with, um, uh, matte, a matte black if you're going to paint it. And I'm personal, I love, um, um, Zyron film. <clears throat> I think it puts chipboard together really strong and beautifully. So that's just my personal preference. I'm going to see if I can't get one on the opposite side. I mean, I, I was going to be bowed anyway. Okay, I'm going to go over that side. Remember, we want to try to make this as strong as possible. It's going to take a lot of weight. I'm putting match sides together. You can see it's got an angle. You bet. Sorry, y'all. I was going so fast. Always stop me. Because you know how I can go. I can go fast or something. And uh, that one is, is a little off. I'm going to go back and cut it. 
maybe you know i'm just gonna do i don't know i'll leave it <clears throat> it's about a sixteenth of an inch off and i think that'll be okay i'm not gonna worry about it okay so now it's gonna bother me i gotta cut it I'm cutting. I'm back over here cutting. I haven't left you. I'm cutting the little chippy bit off. If I can figure out how to do it without killing it all. Much better! That makes me feel so much better. <laughs> so those are my sides. So I've got two sides. One base. I'm going for the back and the front. And once again, if you don't have a Zyron machine, grab, um, well, you could do it with really anything. You could do it with score tape. You could do it with, with, uh, this, uh, Diane's collage glue from Ranger, you know, ATG, not so much. So don't, don't really try it. Okay. It's a, it's just not strong enough. It'd be good for adhering paper to chipboard, but not chipboard to chipboard. Really? Isn't that interesting? If you're truly interested, I could probably give you one because I've seen it. And I'd be glad to get you one. They're not they're not terribly cheap. They're not at sold at really um, um, any of the hobby stores anymore either. And I haven't seen them in scrapbook stores either. So um, anyway. Score tape would work, yes, most definitely model. It'd be great. Score tape would be perfect on it. You could even go around the edges with score tape, and if you didn't want to use up all your score tape, you could even put like um, this uh, glue stick in the center to glue it together. Just make sure you kind of brayer it down or um, just get it really stuck and good. Stuck and good! Whatever works for you. It is just whatever works. Everybody's got their own preference in glues. Um, I will say I can't find anything better. You're not going to do this with Scotch Dry or anything else. Um, is glossy accents is about the best thing you can glue chipboard together. It does leave a shine on it, so be careful. But usually when I do something, I've got structure strips kind of covering up the, the seams. Okay. I need to get my glasses. Of course, I don't have them with me. <sighs> Hold on, let me grab my glasses. You see glasses? I'm looking. I only have 75 pair. Can't find one. Are these okay? Anything is good right now. Yeah, it's good. Thanks, bud. All right, glasses are installed on the base. Hi, Ella. So first thing I'm going to do, oh, you know what? The first thing I'm going to do is I want to get my structure strips. And if you're not familiar with structure strips, some of you call them hinges, whatever makes you happy. I call them structure strips because they add structure to a project and they're not used as a hinge. A hinge goes back and forth and this is adding structure. It's keeping it together. So it's a one inch piece of cardstock. Okay. I scored it in half at half inch. And then I applied 3 8 inch score tape to each side. If you don't have 3 8 inch score tape, you can use quarter inch, whatever makes you happy. I find that the 3 8 inch gives you a little bit more to grab onto and hold. Okay? So what I want to do is I want to fold this strip, and it's going to be a 12 inch strip. I'm going to adhere it to um, the base first. So I'm going to pull up one side. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to come right up. So when you do a score, when I do a structure strip, you, you are scoring down, okay? So you've got the groove down, okay? You want to use the bump side to put your score tape on, okay? Because if you force it this way, it's going to crack, okay? If you force it this way, it goes against that crack. 
Okay, so that's what I'm doing. I'm going right up to that bump that I had made, that I made with my score, when I, uh, uh, with my score uh, board. So I'm going right up to that bump, the score mark. Okay, because I want it to flip flap a little bit. If you get it too far under, it's not going to flap and you're going to have to bend the piece over to it. This makes it flip flap. So it's kind of got a flip flap. It's a little bit loose up. Okay, you got it right up to it. This would stick to it for one, but it's going to want to do that and you have to kind of bend it and mold it and you might as well do it right. Okay, so I'm grabbing another one. I'm doing the exact same thing on the opposite side. And I'm putting it right up to um, the bump, the score line bump made by uh, scoring that line into the cardstock. Okay, cool. All right, we're ready to glue. So I'm gonna glue my side first. I'm gonna take a left side piece. And then, oh my goodness. Once again, um, this is glossy accents and I think it's about the best thing you can use on chipboard and chipboard. Except this is its only downfall. It has to be opened up and unclogged every single stinking time. But you know what? It's worth it. So I'm going to run a bead of glue down the base, the bottom of this uh, side piece. Like that. I'm going to go ahead and pull one of these up. structure strips up. I'm going to place it down. See if I can do this your way to so stand up over it. And I'm going to try to get it right up to the edge on top of, not beside, on top of, which is really important. And then I'm going to take, I think I can't really see where I'm at. That's the bad thing about black and black. I'm going to take my uh, bone folder or whatever and just kind of come up and push that in. And then kind of hold it down for a shake. Oh my gosh, I don't know what kind of movie Caesar's making. Okay, and I'm going to grab my pick. Pick, 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 pick. I don't know what's on this desk, guys. I still haven't found my friggin' fine line bottle yet with my glossy accents. I gotta go in there and dig. I just need to order another set. I've got my my white in there, but <clears throat> it is just about the best thing to not make it clog, but it does clog a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna do this before y'all can see it again. So I'm lining this right up to the edge. My, my structure strip in. And hold it for a second. <coughs> yeah, we saw that calamity when, when Tim put it out. But you put a pin in it, it does the same thing too, right? And who's got a clothes tag? I don't. I don't ever buy any new clothes. It would be all good. <laughs> okay. And then the back. Pot. I'm going to make sure it's in there. It is in there. 
I'm using the right side. I am. Okay, and I'm going to glue a U. Uh-oh, that went off. That is truly okay, because the structure strips are really going to hold it all in place again. There we go. Hold it for a few more seconds. It all needs to cure for a little bit longer, but since we're in a rush, it's just going to go. And then um, the back. I'll make sure that that's the right side again. It is, I think. So I'm going to do my U-glue. I'm going to put some on this end. I'm completely missing it. I can't see. This end. This side. I'm going to put it in between the two sides and on top of the back, on top of the base. So in between and on top of. Like that. Kind of hold it for a second or two until it gets kind of set a little bit. around to the front do the same thing a u-glue so I'm going to do the side the bottom and the other side and stick her in I oh, completely messed that one up. I'm gonna the wrong size on it. One moment. Redo. Seven and a half, isn't it? Seven. It is seven and a half. Okay. Look what I did. Seven and a half by five. Easily fixed. What's going on, man? Do you remember the sandpaper that I bought? The what? The sandpaper. What, what sandpaper? How about it? Some sandpapers to send some stuff down there. Don't worry about it. Where's my Creotopia at? Where it is. Yeah, I don't know. What is it? Why don't you look over there? Yeah. In that. Is it over there on the floor or something? What are you sanding? Do what? The dowel. Oh. There's some sandpaper right there, though. Oh, I bought some when I was doing those things. There's a whole bunch of sheets. Sorry, having side discussions. Hi, Linda Bates. 
How are you, Shug? I don't see Sharona. Is Sharona on? My Sharona. Da, na, 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 na. Okay, back to the front. Just like that, y'all. Let me see if I can hold it down a little bit. Oops, just popped it out. Pushed it too hard. Back in there. Flush. Here we go. Yes, KK. What are close brat? Welcome to Georgetown. My son goes to Georgetown for the dentist. Okay, I'm listening, baby. Hi, Sharona! Hey, Miss Linda! My Chico, California babies! Loves of my life. Okay, I'm listening, Kay, kinda. I have no trimmer in there. What's going on, Kay? I'm listening. I'm listening. Nobody's saying anything now that I'm listening. Okay, I don't listen anymore. Hi, Jersey lady. Hi, peoples. Okay, you guys. So what I'm doing now is I'm going to cut my structure strips down. And I'm going to go for the bottom one. And the bottom one's going to be... Eight and three quarters. So I know I'm going to need two of those. So I'm going to cut two of them at eight and three quarters. And my big trimmer just crashed. It didn't have a crash. It didn't have a blade in it. And I remember seeing it on the floor. And I'm not looking for it. And this one doesn't quite cut deep enough. So I am going to go seven three quarters twice. That takes care of the front and the back. And then I'm going to do my sides. And they're going to be, what, five inches? I believe. My front sides are five inches. We'll do five and an eight. And then I think the back is seven, so we'll do a little bit more than seven. Seven and eight. You know, I tell you right now, this is not truly square. I hate this one. I hate it. Does he not see my post? I've been saying, can you tell me what you're wanting? When you put on the back, did uh, did you see it? Did you set it on top of the base? Everything goes on top, and in between the sides. Yes, yes, baby. So anything I ever do is always going to sit on top of a base, and it always goes in between. Not not unless I don't tell you, and in the tutorial, but it's going to go in between. Okay, because that quarter it makes a difference. I mean, if you try to put this together, it would be totally different. You know what I mean? It'd be a quarter inch. Um, uh, too big if you didn't put it on top of the base. And that's just the way I like to roll. You know what I mean? So inside, inside, so it goes on top of and in between. So the, the back is here. So the back went on top of the base, on top of the base, down on top of it. And it goes in between the two sides for both. Okay? That's that. And does the same thing for the front. Easy peasy. We could do it. Okay, so I'm going to put on... I'm going to go ahead and put on my side pieces first. My 5-inch side pieces. And it really will. I'm still... If you do it on the outside... Everybody wants to do my patterns on the outside. And so I've been really trying to be really um, careful and telling everybody it goes on top of and not um, on the side. 
So I'm just flipping it around. I'm, I'm going to structure strip this to death. Because once again, remember, it's holding a lot of weight. These stamps are heavy. And like I said, you can put 40 in this one, um, plus the dividers. So um, it's going to be, you want to structure strip it all up really good. So the two front were fives, two backs are sevens. And the two fronts are what, seven and a half? I'll check again in a second. Let me, let me do this real quick. I'm sorry, so I can't see what I'm doing. I am sweating like a dog. I was freezing, now I'm hot. You would get some little dog ears here on the top, right here, and you just nip those off with the scissor. Quick and easy. Hawaiian, you are new. Give it to them, girls, tell her. No, it's not. It's the Samsung. I'm an Android guy. Oh my gosh, what was this? A structure strip is a one inch piece of, of cardstock scored in half at half inch and you put score tape on each side or similar whatever you got I'm just gonna put this on here and see if I can cut it down okay I'm gonna do the exact same thing on the inside you know usually I just do the outside but once again we're trying to make this as rigid and strong as possible so I'm gonna go ahead and do the inside and so I believe that's 11 and a quarter on the inside. Let's see. Nope, it's 11 and um, we can make it about 11 and three quarters. So I'm going to do two of those, 11 and three quarters. I wonder if I can take this out. Yeah, I can. I'm using my big board, which I love. so much straighter. The other one is just crooked. I'm telling you. It's crooked. Nobody believes me. It's crooked. Okay, 11 and, did I say 11 and 3 quarters? 11 and 3 quarters. So that'll go down. So what I'm doing for the inside is I'm going to fold it against itself. So the black side's against itself. And this goes in here. And what I do is I bring it in like this, stick it into the corner, and then open up its wings. Okay, so that's that one side. side. So stick it down in the corner and then open up its wings. So stick it down in the corner, open up its wings into the corners. Okay. Then this one's going to be, I'm going to do the, the base and it's about what, seven and a half. So I'm going to cut two at seven and a half. We'll do these. Um, say, what is that about? Maybe some of these work. Not quite. Let's see. What is that? Where's my stick? That's gonna be what about five-ish? Five. -ish? five. Need two fives. And 
And then I need, what, two six and somethings? Six and somethings? Um, can't see. Let's see. Nope, sevens. Two sevens. Oh, I don't have to do that double thing, do I? I'm on my good board. Okay. All right. So I'm going to do these in the back corners. These were the sevens for the back corners. Clip off my dog ears. Go for the front corners. So we're just reinforcing the box with all of its glory. And then I'm going to do the fronts, and I think those, I said those were seven and a half. Oh, wait, I cut out my thing. This is them right here. Yep. Seven and a half! Seven and a half! Barb and Kay, why are y'all in caps? Are y'all talking to me? If you're not, don't use caps. Please. Or is it in caps because y'all are moderators? Okay, everybody there? Any questions? Any questions? We got it? I keep on thinking y'all are saying something important to me. <laughs> okay, everybody good? So we're going to set the paint first. Hi, Ice Cheeks. Oh, it's good to see you. Somebody's setting acrylics. We're waiting for this conversation to be over. <coughs> so we're just going to, you take a rag and vinegar will set the paint. What? Vinegar will set the paint. For what? What are you talking about? No, you don't use it heavy. Vinegar, vinegar and water for a t-shirt? Do what? Vinegar and water for a t-shirt. Vinegar and water for a t-shirt, I guess so. We're going to find out here in a second. And then, okay, so that's that. And then we're going to make the middle piece. And now we're going to do this at six inches. Got it? No, no tutorial, Lynn. I'm sorry, honey. I don't have time. I wish I did, but I don't. So we're going to do seven and a half. But this is recorded. So y'all got the measurement, or does anybody... 
Need the measurement? Is that seven and a half by six and a half? Six. I think I'll do six, y'all. So let's do seven and a half by six. Let's see if that works. And it fits! How do? Okay. This is going to be that middle divider that I was telling you about that's going to give it a little bit of strength. Cool? Thank you, MG. Ella, I don't know what I'm stressed about, honey. What's wrong? Are you stressed that I'm stressed? Don't be stressed. I'm not stressed. Are you stressed? Who's stressed? I'll give you stressed. You want stressed? <laughs> Poor Ella. I'm sorry you think that, that everybody's just stressed. Caesar, are you stressed? Huh? Are you stressed? Am I stressed? Yeah. Just a little. What are you stressed over? about just life in general you're stressed <laughs> over life in general like what life problems do you have <laughs> come tell me about your life problems <laughs> everything's pg just work work nobody bad wants nobody wants to hear it Okay, so y'all, I'm cutting two structure strips at six and two at seven and a half. Actually, I need, I need uh, four at six. So I'm, like, once again, I'm going to make it as rigid as possible. I was stressed to the max, but I'm not stressed. Stressed was yesterday. This whole last week. It's a good week. I'm trying to get ready for Germany. <sighs> trying to get ready for London. I'm trying to get ready for Florida. I can't wait. Jill, you come to see me in Florida. And it all has to be done like right now. You know what I'm saying? So. I appreciate y'all coming to the class because it is part of your time and part of my time and I appreciate y'all coming. I'm going to see, I think where I'm doing this at six is kind of like right where this meets that. Um, and I'm just making sure that this is pretty much straight visually um, up and down because if you've got this in here at an angle, your, your things are going to go at an angle, your uh, stamps. So I'm going to try to make sure I've got that kind of up and down the right way. You know what I'm going to do? I'm going to glue it. I forgot my glue. So I'm going to glue a U-glue down one side. Back in here. Oops. Kind of 
right about where it meets, right where it's level. What's up, bud? Okay. Oh, Buddy went to go outside. Does the heat undo Zarbon stuff too? We think. Or not really. Yeah, he'll undo Zarbon really well. Very well. Okay, now I can put my stuff in. This is a little off. When I put my structure strips in, that'll help set. Uh, it'll help hold the glue until it glues in place. So I'm gonna do this again. I'm gonna put this down here. Structure strips on the bottom. Oh, for the love of goodness! Where's my pick? Where's my pick? My pick is missing. Does anybody see my pick on the desk? Here it is. So we're almost done. So then we can get into the embellishing part. So one last few things. I'm going to put this in here and get it kind of stuck in there really good like that. Do another one on this side. What? What did you do? What are you making? I need to split these apart so I can have a single. Oh, good. Oh. Were they Zyron or was that, that Richard's glue? It's Zyron. Cool. Well, at least I got the batch that were Zyron. That's awesome. So if you were in my class in California, you know this is kind of about the exact same thing we were doing with uh, Carol's Caddy, kind of adding in the support pieces, that kind of stuff. Didn't you love that? I sent her one while ago. Buzzy's sitting on the chair. I'll have to show it to you. He's sitting on the chair and he's going, um, where is that redhead lady that scratched my head so good when I was here? She bought some some fabric, some great fabric, um, some great boots. She had a mani pedi. And she just relaxed. I'm glad she got the chance to relax. So I'm cutting off my ears. You guys, that is about as strong as it's going to get. Oh, I can't even cut it with these scissors. Oh, little scissors. I'll cut it later. This is just two. I can't see it for one. It's just not cutting it. There we go. Okay, so that is the box. So that's the basic box. Like that. So that's done. Let me clean up my mess. We'll take a little break and then we'll go on to the decorations. So that's the basic box I'm gonna bring it out here. I'm gonna clean up my desktop so we can get ready for phase two. Y'all talk to yourselves, communicate. I'm gonna move stuff out of the way. Okay, so once again, I'm going to put this down here for you to look at. And let's see if I can zoom in with my handy dandy zoomy thingy. Hi, Jersey. Oh, sorry. 
Guest jersey. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it with that. There we go. Let's see if I can zoom in. Did it go down? I can get my mouse to work. Is it on? Connect. I think I can do it this way. Oops. So here are the measurements that you can read it. Diagonal. I don't even know how I spelt it. But maybe that helps. And um, I'm going to take a break. Y'all take a break and we'll, we'll do the, 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 the outsides. All right. Oh, that's upside down. Hello, everybody. Oh, I take the stupid thing off. Can anybody hear me? Hello. I think my mouse is dead. There you go. Much better. Hello. Hello, everybody. Does anyone know where he's going to be? Uh, do you know when? Uh, obviously, I cannot read today. Um, and does anybody know where he's going to be in Florida and when? Who, Jim? Hey, Sharona. Hello. Hello. Okay, bud. Okay, bye. Oh, that was fast. Sweet and fast. Sweet and fast. Sweet and fast. Just the way I am. Whatever. Okay. Oh, did y'all get the instructions? So, so the base is seven and three quarters by twelve. Remember, you need to double this. And then, hi, that green. Am I making you nervous? <laughs> and that is my ranger buddy. I love the woman. Um, the sides are five. You want to mark down on a twelve by twelve sheet. Sorry, let me zoom out. I probably got it zoom now. I can't zoom it back out. Ugh. Catherine taught me that trick, bless her. She scrapbooks when... Um, I don't know, honey. It's in my... I think it's on my calendar on my blog thing. I don't know. I can't remember. The first... Second week in... Um, July. July. Second week in July, maybe? Chicklet. I wore a t-shirt uh, this weekend. Annette. Okay, so for this, you guys, I'm taking, I'm just going to take stamps, and I'm going to ink them up. Okay, I'm going to grab my black. You should tell them, tell them the chiclet story. I'm putting it on my block, on me block. I've been hanging out with dying too much. In me block and sorted. I've got, I mean, that's my new word, sorted. Yes, we had chiclet disasters with the... 
or I had chiclet disasters. They didn't. <laughs> Bless them. So drop. Oh, probably missed that one. Drop and punch. I think the net was across from me, and what? Um, and it was across from me, and then we had Marjorie next to Annette, and um, let me wipe this off. Okay, I'm gonna clean that off, and I'm just gonna keep punching these. I think I'm gonna put this whole figure here, and how I'm gonna gauge this, y'all, is. I've got somewhere, somewhere I had it one ago. Lord have mercy. Here it is. I'm going to do diamonds again. So I'm going to gauge it by, okay, that fits a whole diamond. Okay, and then I'm going to get this one and put it on my block. This is a Diane's Mixed Media Paper. Awesome to stamp on. I'm going to try to. Don't they all say delusions on it? Or no? I don't know. And then I'm going to stamp some legs. These guys' legs. No hippos, right? Isn't that what Diane says? Just fairy, fairy hippos or fairy elephants. What does she say? <laughs> Net. Oh, that was too funny. Oh my gosh, that was so embarrassing. Poor Tim was teaching the hot milk class. And I had some chiclets in my pocket and they got a little hot and so they were already starting to melt in my pocket. So I took them out and thought I'm going to save these. I'll need them. Set them down next to the hot milk pot. And that's just exactly what happened. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Tim wasn't happy. We were causing a scene. Okay, I'm going to do some legs again. These are Diane's new stamps. They're kind of new. Legs 11. Gotta love them. Okay, I think what I'm going to do, y'all, is when I'm going to go ahead and... Um, heat these a little bit, set them a little bit better before I cut them and get my fingerprints all over them. And I'm just going to use my trusty old hair dryer because it's what I got close. So it's loud. So hold on. Okay, and then 
going to take my black pen and I'm going to take my stencil. This is the diamonds from her diamond. I think, I don't know, it's called shapes or something shapes. And I'm going to kind of see where I want it to go. I'm going to go ahead and cut them out with some scissors. Just going to go around and trace them. And, um, I'm cutting out, just going around with the stencils. Oh my gosh, I'm so hot. Are you all hot? So we're doing kind of the reverse of what, let me show you. We're kind of doing the reverse of this, right? But see, like in class, and y'all see me do this originally with the, the colored background. Remember, we kind of did it with the keyhole. But we're going in, so, and so instead of, we did the stencil, we put the, 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 what, negative down or something? And then traced around it with the with the paint, the black paint, Diane's black paint, right? And then went back in and stamped it with the this part, right? And so it's exactly the same thing, except that we're we've already got black, so we might as well just do the black. So I'm going on um, the mix, uh, the mixed media paper, and kind of that same concept is what we're trying to come up with, and we're gonna hope it works. So I'm just doing my blocks, and these may not be full. I may cut off some of their head. I may cut off something. It just depends on where it fits. <clears throat> so I'm going to cut my diamonds out. You know what? I may do the other side of my box. That's what I'm going to do. Since I showed you how to make the box, I'm going to do the other side of it. I can use these scraps for um, extras I might need to put on. So don't throw it away. I might use it. Three more. Stuff out of the way. I'm gonna turn on the fan. I'm dying.
Okay, I'm gonna use the uh, Ranger glue stick, which is what Diane formulated. And I'm not a glue stick person, but she swears to me this is the best. I'm gonna use the other side. I'm gonna do the other side of my box. So y'all, this is what we're making for anybody who came late. This is the stamp holder. Let me show y'all. This is the stamp holder. This is the front. This is what we're working on. Okay, we're kind of doing that little patchwork stuff right there. The keyholes and the black, or not keyholes, but the diamonds. And then I'm going to stencil the back again. So you can see it's kind of at an angle. And then it's got, um, uh, it depends on if you want to stack this. If you want to stack it, you don't want to put the divider tabs on the top. You want to put them out here to the side. Okay, and the divider tabs are going to say something like borders, backgrounds, figures, characters, Christmas. So I'm going to take these out so I can work with it. It holds 40 stamp, uh, stamp sets. These will hold um, Dina's, Tim's. Um, Brett's, um, any Stampers Anonymous stamp. Okay, I'm going to lay these out. Can I see what I've got here? I want my main focal. Maybe I'll put him here. Some legs maybe here. No, nope, they've got to go up here. Legs up here. So let me do something like that this time. Something pretty even. Okay. So I've got it laid out. And now I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna I'm gonna cut them. I'm just gonna bend that over and cut. Go ahead and glue stick it down. This is what I understand about glue sticks. Somebody could explain to me how you do it without them all getting the face all gluey, right? I have to do it on something, but then when you lay that down on top of that, it's all gluey, right? I think that one can go here-ish. Use a craft mount, that's a good idea. And just wipe off. Good thinking. I don't have one close by. So I'll continue on my instruction page. <laughs> I never use it. I'd rather use Xyron, you know, but I'm trying to be open-minded, right? So craft mat. So use a craft mat to put on uh, your glue stick.
All right, one last one, and I'm gonna put it right in here-ish. I might bring it over a little. Actually, I'm gonna just cut it on both sides. So I'm gonna put it right there, bend it down here, bend it down over here, so I'll know where to cut. Cut it. Glue it. Now we can play with it. Let's see, where's the lid? Do y'all see the lid? Oh my lord, the lid's missing. Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna get my white uh, Signo Uniball out. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go around it. I need my glasses. looking for perfection I don't think I'm not um, I think kind of more fun they are so I'm going to outline them first with the white pen and with the white signal it takes a little bit longer for it to dry so the thing is you have to kind of be careful and don't want it to drag through um, you don't want to drag your hand through the wet um, ink I'm dying to know what movies Caesar's watching. I'm afraid to ask. The Devil's Spawn or something crazy. Should we ask him? Okay, and then I'm going to kind of go back and I'm going to do my own thing, so... I'm going to do this one with the big, so I'm making C circles, or U circles, sorry, U's. And I totally ripped this from Diane, so it is not my idea. connecting them. This pen is not as wide as it should be. some little balls on it. This is what makes me happy. I could sit here and do this all day long. It's my favorite part. The doodling part. some little dingleberries hanging from it. Caesar, what are you watching, bud? <laughs> the baby's screaming, Dada. making me nervous. Dada. Dada. Daughter, daughter of the devil or something. Well, I knew it was going to have devil in it. Well, you know what that little punch thing is? What punch thing, bud? The one that was for the circles that was up here. Blue. Like what? Break the holes. This one? No. Green? No. Yeah. Uh, I that don't know. Quarter inch hole. It was blue. No, that was that's it.
and then this one I'm going to just do a uh, sew and stitch. This one, let's do, um, let's do circles. circles and circles. And I'm going to try to repeat those exact same ones on uh, the others. I don't need to have too many patterns, I guess. Okay, I may do, I may do that one here. I'll do sew and stitch here. do some balls. Um, I'm going to do that pattern here to fill in that. You know what? I'm not going to do balls. I'm going to do, I'm just going to continue. I'm going to do circles, half circles again. circles and sun circles. Annette Green. Annette Green is so funny. I'll show you the balls on the other side. That's what I meant. These are the balls on this side. See the little balls? That's what I'm talking about. I'll do this pattern back over here, kind of, kind of fill in that area. So go with my use.
Jeez. Kind of step them in there. Okay, my back will kill me all of a sudden. Call that done on this side. So there's that. Because I want to leave some of the black, right? Okay. And then I want to go for that. And by the way, I put just a, this was a recollection, I already told you that, a recollection pool so I could pull it off my um, 12 by 12. And I put two brads in it. I really need to stabilize it in the back a little bit better. Okay, so I am going to grab my stencil. And my ink and paint. And my white paint, white linen, yellows. Buddy Ro. Seth. Yeah. Can you help me find my white paint? Oh, here it is. I found it as soon as I ask him. I always find it. See, that's why I do it. Everybody thinks I'm being needy. But it's because I can find it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a little of this. And this has to have really two coats. Um, and then we'll talk about the dividers. If y'all want to do the butters, about that much, right? Work it into the pad. I'm going to take it, put it on top, and try to hold it the best I can. And just go around in circles. With the Tim's uh, dauber. Not dauber. What is it? applicator a little bit more it's gonna have, have to have a couple of coats so Grab a little bit more she says work out of the lid you shake the bottle she says shake the bottle and just work out of the lid primarily and um, I'm not doing I'm not following the rules so I apologize Okay, while that dries, so that's what that looks like. So while that dries, I'm going to do a second coat for it in a little bit. Um, I'll tell you about the dividers. Um, the dividers need to be cut down to... <clears throat> um, I think it's seven and a half by eight. So it's going to be, let's see, seven and a half inches wide, right? By eight and a half inches tall. Okay, and then I took a half inch quarter rounder, I'm sorry, half inch rounder um, punch from We Are Memory Keepers. And I did the half inch side and punched all the corners. Okay, for the circles, I used Tim's um, round. round die but unfortunately I cracked it um, a long time ago and so I need to get another one and so it makes kind of these oblong weird shapes which I like but you can see where it's cracked right here completely cracked so the die is is busted out and it's flat right there but anyway I use that middle size 
and this is called um, size circles and you have to they're movers and shakers movers and shapers and then just uh, put a score tape on the back and then just uh, glued it on I went around with my pen and kind of decorated them with just a border and then put backgrounds or um, figures or characters or that kind of stuff cool so um, that's how I did the dividers this is probably dry it is so I'm going to go back in with my stencil that I've laid down somewhere. Don't y'all hate that? I mean, like, wasn't I just using it like two seconds ago and it's gone? Did it fall? It fell. Oh, I've got to... I bit my tongue. Don't y'all hate that? I bit my tongue and so it's all I can do is like try to figure out why or how to talk. So I'm kind of putting it right back in the exact position. I'm getting some more. So this is what she says to do. Okay, let me show you. So she says, take this, you shake it up, then you tap it, right? Or tap it. Maybe she didn't say shake. Maybe she just said, I don't remember what she said. I can't remember. So you take this and you work out of the lid. Okay, so you put that around over there. And you want to just take just a dab like that, which is enough. And you probably don't need it, but this chipboard is, uh, I wouldn't normally need it for a lot of stuff, but this chipboard is so porous, it's going to have to have several coats. I mean, several uh, ap um, applications or um, additions of paint to it. So I'm going to go back here. And do a second coat. Okay, I'm going to grab a little bit more, run it through. You know what? That's just about all I'm going to give it. So that's kind of what it looks like. Um, that is not the lid that goes in there. I'm just going to put my die in there. Oops. Lid that back up so it won't dry out. So I'm going to let that dry a little bit more. I'm going to get my hot gun action. white pen and I'm just being kind of fun and free with it I'm not worrying about really I'm kind of trying to keep with the design but I'm not going to worry about it if I get over the lines or under the lines or whatever so I'm just kind of making a giving it a border in white
Okay, and then I'm gonna use my foot ball and strategically do kind of the same thing. Make inside diamonds, right? Really quickly. I'm not caring about what it looks like. My tongue. My tongue. I won't bother you. I won't bore y'all with uh, the rest of these. I'll just do a few and then I'll go back and do it later. Um, you, uh, do, we'll do whatever you want to do with this. And then I did kind of circles in the center like that. And then went back in with my Posca pen, which is a little bit, has a little bit more, it's a little bit more opaque. And um, colored in the uh, circles. So Posca pen in white. Finish the rest of it later, which gives me basically that, right? <clears throat> I used what paper did I use? I didn't. I, I used chipboard, babe. Oh, chipboard, chipboard circles. You can see where I cut them out of chipboard. And then I went back, and I used. Um, I just went back and kind of drew on them. And then I glued them to it, glued them to it. I glued the, the circles to the chipboard, the chipboard to the chipboard with a um, score tape. That's what I did. And so I've got, for example, I've got Christmas in the back. I've got words, letters, and numbers. I've got borders. I've got figures. Um, actually, these are the figures. This is what I'm calling figures, or figural character pieces. And the fronts are really just pieces, pieces, but I didn't see the, the reason. I'd rather see this, I guess, than put a, another black thing, another black divider in. So that that's going to be that one, right? So that is done. That's what it looks like. I really thought it would be really cool to add some Tim's box feet to the bottom. You know what I mean? But then I started thinking it might scrape the bottom of my cabinet. Um, of course, I could put, you know, some felt or something on there. So. I've got my new box. Let's just say. Fit Dina stencils too. Okay. Let's just say that was like cleaned up, right? Done. And so I could take this one if it was full and stack it on top of that one, right? And it would stay. If you had the room where you could leave them out. So that is the box. What are you looking for now, buddy? Paint. Okay. What kind of paint? The uh, red paint. No, I don't think I'd put I don't think I put feet on it. I think because too, y'all, there's so much weight. You know what I mean? It's gonna sag eventually and it's gonna split away from those uh, structure strips and it's gonna it's gonna you know what I mean? I don't think it would be probably the best thing. But, you know, it'd be pretty. If that makes you happy. You can always make another one. I mean, really, for a dollar sheet of chipboard times seven, seven dollars to have something that would hold and organize your stamps. Not bad. So that's it.
That is it. All right, y'all. I'm using it. I know this is my poor little box. You saw it. This is what held it. Nunbush. Forever. It's just about dead. So I can throw that away and use my own. You bet, Stacy. It's good to see you. We'll see you in a couple of weeks. Ah. Uh, thank you, Linda Lou. I appreciate it. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, Donna. KT, baby. You got to show everybody that picture of that you're working on. Of the angel. Woo, it's good. It's very good. Good job. Thanks, Sharona. Bye, everybody. If you're here, Annette, thanks for coming over. Xander, thanks for coming, babe. Barb and Kay, thank you as always. Kimmy, it's good to see you. We'll see you in a couple of weeks, too. Mahalo. And anything else? Anything new? Questions? Anything? Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, Sarah, you rock. Sarah was idea. Yesterday, yesterday. Was it yesterday, Sarah? So I hope that you make it. It's got a little bit of a twist on a shoebox. We're going to do a shoebox, remember? And it's got a little bit of a twist on a shoebox. So anyway. Is it? It's only 10 days? <gasps> Caesar, it's only 10 days before we leave! What? Now I'm stressed, Ella. What? <laughs> 10 days before we leave. Oh my God. Bye, everybody. I'm going to go and be worried now. Thanks. See y'all later. Oh, my thing doesn't work anyway. Last. Stop record.